All right, I'm gonna make a quick post here real quick. I um, just got done getting the truck washed here in uh, I'm outside of Chicago, Gary, Indiana, kinda. To me, I guess that's kinda like Chicago. So, let's see here. First look at the old uh, truck wash. Not looking too bad. One of the things I wanna do this summer is I repainted the uh, bumper. I hope that's not wind noise you guys have to hear. I repainted the bumper and I might redo it again with a with a can. I'm gonna get a one of the things I plan on doing here hopefully soon. Uh, in about three weeks I'm gonna get a GoPro camera, a better camera or something to shoot these videos. So um, but this is truck. It's uh need polished. That'll be Caitlin's Caitlin's goal this summer, hopefully. This heading rack will be polished. I gotta cut it with a buffer. But uh, I'm thinking about painting the doors. The body color of the truck. And uh I might paint the, the bumper and the side skirt black. I think. Let's see how uh, this, yeah, there's my new power steering reservoir we just put on yesterday. And it was all nasty under there, but. Kind of did a pretty crappy job on the truck. It's got sediment all over it still. I like my hood. You just push it and it closes. Oh, that dirt. I don't know if that just got in there just now or not. But, all right. It's colder than I thought and windier than I thought, so. my hood on I think and go walk over to the to the shop the wheels aren't too bad we keep up on them my polisher Caitlin but uh, I gotta get the uh, gotta find the right connectors that I want I want to put the the uh, the airlines through these holes here I want to get it all figured out and then put the I want to hang a, a lever that comes out from the top that holds the pogo stick so that I can get into this door easier. But, and then uh, another thing we got to do, I hope that wind's not too bad. I got to sand my axles down. Repaint them before they start getting too bad. Part of maintenance is, is, is uh, washing, I believe. So um, I'm gonna go. I didn't. All I know it's windy out here. Been fighting the wind all day. Thought it was gonna blow me over a couple times, but oh well. I'm gonna test this and I'm gonna post it and see how bad the wind was or not. So um, a lot of stuff planned for the channel. Um, don't want to get, uh, um, I got, I got to get a better camera and start learning how to edit because I know it probably sucks watching these videos all through when, when I say, um, and, and all that crap. I try not to say it, but you forget. And, uh, so I'm wanting to do a, a tough truck for, for, uh, monster truck show when that comes to town I got a uh, some ideas for a, a drag truck I want to do a little, probably a little s10 two-wheel drive 
um, six liter turbo or so on it and, and go from there just I mean it's not gonna break any speed records or anything but be pretty fast be pretty fun that's what I want to do and um, got my blazer going on my minion my 84 blazer 454 8 inch lift I got a um, an, an Adelie spring I want to put in the back I got new u-bolts to change the uh, u-bolts from where they mount on the bottom to how they mount on the top of the axle instead of underneath and I have new plates for the front axle and u-bolts so that we don't have the uh, um, I hope that doesn't come that bad out of there I don't know. I'll watch the video back and see how it comes back out. But um, the the new front pads that the uh, U-bolts bolt to don't have the holes in them for the uh, the uh, sway bar anymore because I don't have sway bar on it. But a lot of things. I got to get it unburied out of the snow. It's sitting behind about two feet of snow right now. I can't even walk back there to video it. And the motor's out of Lucille, the 73 Blazer. I got that motor ready to, to uh, it's about ready to paint and put back in, but I got polished oil paint and stuff. Got some work I want to do that before I put it back in. I got some ideas of uh, stuff I want to do under the hood of my Minion. I want to make it real clean and, and real, um, I don't like the cutouts that they put in there inside of the fenders to uh, uh, save weight or whatever the heck it does. I don't like all that. So I've been wanting to figure, fill out, fill them holes in. And um, I know these first few videos suck, I'm sure, but I, I need to get used to, to it took weeks <laughs> to video the first one with the thoughts of that the someday people are going to be watching these. And I'm hoping it can be a real good document for my success story. Uh, I got goals. I got a lot of stuff set out there right now. I'm trying to be debt free in five years. That's my mortgage, everything. My budget starts next month, April. And I have to be, I'm holding myself accountable to it been bad with money in the past and and having uh, uh, paid things the way I should so um, all that's changing tired of working so hard and and um, I'm getting somewhere I'm, I'm gaining on it but just not at the the, the uh, rate that I'd like to so I'm gonna go walk around this parking lot since the sun's still out because it's not really a place I like to be around here Gary Indiana in, in nighttime so I'm going to hurry up and go walk around while it's daylight still and hurry back to the truck and, uh, and hide for the rest of the night. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.